Thanks, everybody. Um, thank you all for coming along. This is pretty much amazing. Um, my name's Martin. Uh, I'm from around here, sort of. I'm going to read out the uh, the TPPA resolution for local government consideration, which is the um, the petition that so a lot of you have probably signed by now. Uh, if not, you can still sign it and um, yep, keep informed as well as support uh, the resolution to go to local government, which uh, is sorely needed very soon. Um, the, the resolution is that the Tauranga City Council encourages the government to conclude negotiations on the Trans-Pacific Partnership and Free Trade Agreements in the way that provides net positive benefits for the Tauranga City region and New Zealand. That is provided the partnership agreement and agreements achieve the following objectives. Number one, continues to allow Tauranga City Council and other councillors, uh, other councils if they so choose to adopt procurement policies that provide for a degree of local preference to choose whether particular services or facilities are, <coughs> are provided in-house by council controlled organisations, CCOs or and contracting out or to require health and safety, environmental protection, employment rights and conditions, community participation, animal, animal protection or, or human rights standards than national or, or international sta minimum standards. Uh, number two is to maintain good di diplomatic and, free and trade relations with partners and partnerships uh, for Tauranga City and New Zealand with other major trading partners not included in the agreement including with China. Provide, uh, number three provides uh, substantial, uh, substantially increased access for agricultural exports, uh, particularly those from the Tauranga City region into the US markets. Um, does not undermine Pharmac and raise the cost of medical treatments and medicines or threaten public health measures such as tobacco control. Um, does not, uh, number five, is does not over overseas, uh, does not give overseas investors or suppliers any greater rights than domestic investors or suppliers such as those introducing investor state dispute settlement or reduced our ability to control overseas investment or finance. Number six, does not um, expand intellectual property rights and enforce an excess of current law. And we really should cut that. Um, number seven is does not weaken our public services, require privatisation, hinder reversal of, of privatisations, or increase the commercialisation of government or of Tauranga City Council or other local government organisations. Number eight does not reduce our flexibility to support local and economic and industry development um, and encourage good employment and environmental practices and initiatives like the Like, oh. Like buy local in our farmer's market. Yes, like buying local from our farmer's market, which we proudly displayed all our amazing banners um, and marches and cheerleaders and tiny fires and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the Mayor's Task Force for Jobs, which enables marginalised young people to develop their skills and transition into meaningful employment. Number nine, contains enforceable but labour clauses requiring adherence to core international labour organisation conventions and preventing reduction of labour rights such as those um, trying to be still enforced in um, third world or third world condition style countries such as El Salvador by organisations uh, run by, what's his name? Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Um, Charles Kernigan. Uh, who enforces the uh, labour standards across the third world countries where your shoes or where your clothes are made, where you can go to the warehouse and buy cheap crap and more toys for your kids who really probably don't need any. But nonetheless, uh, <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> anyway, um, number 10 contains enforceable environmental clauses preventing reduction of environmental and biosecurity standards for trade or investment um, and number 11, we're almost there, <laughs> has general exemptions to, prevent, uh, to protect human rights, the environment and the Treaty of Waitangi 
and New Zealand's economic financial stability. Number 12 has been negotiated with repu real public consultation. Transparency. Inclu uh, including regular public uh, releases of drafts of the text of the agreement and ratification being conditional on a full social, environmental and economic impact assessment including public submissions such as our one. Uh, yeah, as I said, thank you very much uh, for coming along today, everybody. Uh